The Broadcasting Standards Commission has partly upheld a complaint from the Jehovah's Witnesses about sleeping with the enemy, an edition of Everyman about the relationship between religion and conflict, broadcast on BBC One on the 13th of December 1998. The programme included an interview with a man whose marriage to a Jehovah's Witness had broken down because of religious differences. The Commission considered that viewers should have been informed of the source of film and cartoon material broadcast in the programme, to avoid giving the impression that this was currently used by the Jehovah's Witnesses. It also considered that the juxtaposition of the footage and the interview sensationalised and oversimplified Jehovah's Witness beliefs. In these respects, the Commission found unfairness to the Jehovah's Witnesses. In other aspects of the complaint, the Commission found no unfairness. It considered that there was no need for the Jehovah's Witnesses to have been given the chance to comment on the personal story about the marriage breakdown. The Commission did not consider that comments made in the programme about political leaders perverting the message of religion for their own ends was aimed at the Jehovah's Witnesses. Accordingly, the complaint was upheld in part. You can get a copy of the full adjudication by sending a standard address envelope to the Broadcasting Standards Commission, 7 The Sanctuary, London, SW1P3JS. This summary is available at www.bsc.org.uk, the Commission's website. They've never been observed, and they've never been documented, so we don't know what to look for. If a supervolcano were to erupt, would it take us back to the Ice Age, wipe out half the global population, or push humanity to the brink of extinction? The sooner or later, one of these large super eruptions will happen. Horizon. Pure science. Sheer drama. Now, before the film stepping out, here's Darren Bett with the weather view. Hello there. Now, for many Americans, the Super Bowl is the highlight of the sporting year. It's taking place at the moment in Atlanta, Georgia. But earlier on today, we had some really atrocious weather in Atlanta. Some freezing rain, snowstorms to sub-zero temperatures and very treacherous road conditions. Things have eased a little bit to now. You can see the extent of that wet weather arcing its way gradually northwards and eastwards and with the freezing rain it instantly brought icy conditions. Now the weather system bringing all that horrible weather is going to transfer its way northwards bringing some snowstorms in towards uh, New York, Washington eventually moving in up in towards Canada. Look at the big picture, the global picture, you can see the extent of the cloud over across many parts of the United States. Let's spin the globe and move across in towards Australia. Now it's usually pretty quiet at this time there is some cloud though standing out quite nicely across some western parts of Australia. 19 millimetres of rain falling not far away from Perth. May not sound much, but it's over twice the average for this time of year. Earlier on in the day though, Perth saw temperatures as high as 37 Celsius, much higher than we would expect for late January. Over the next few days, not too much changing in Australia. Settled for most areas, temperatures as high as 35 or 36. Not quite as hot as that back home, but it is very mild still across many parts of Britain. Temperatures in Flintshire as high as 14 Celsius, some 9 degrees better than the average. Further north though, very wet for much of the day across the highlands of Scotland. Almost an inch of rain falling in quite a few places. The rain is moving out of the way. We still have some strong winds though for many areas. Gusts of 50 or 60 miles an hour, especially across northern Britain. Though the wind's easing towards the morning time. Now it's this area of low pressure that's bring, bringing the windy weather, brought the rain to. It's moving out of the way, the wind's easing down a bit, leaving this weather front straddling across northern England and Northern Ireland, keeping some thicker clouds and some patchy rain and drizzle. Most of us though, again, it is going to be a mild night, a breezy night too. Further north though, for Scotland, the rain clearing, clearer spells, a few wintry showers and temperatures dipping down to about 3 or 4 Celsius. So quite a chilly start today here and many northern parts of Scotland will stay quite bright with one or two wintry showers. Elsewhere, a lot of cloud around. That's a cloud and rain through central areas, turning heavier 
and pushing its way northwards into southern and central parts of Scotland. Southern parts of England and Wales, though, should become brighter where we've got some shelter from the winds, a bit of sunshine coming through, and that will again pick those temperatures up to 13 or 14 Celsius. The mild weather struggling to get into northern parts of Scotland. But it stays quite wet and windy into Tuesday. The band of cloud and rain pushing its way down from the northwest, particularly wet for a while, western Scotland, being replaced by some sunshine and some showers. That's it. Bye bye. With a generally unpredictable picture. How can I run excursion when the transport company hasn't got a coach that's only fixing every five minutes? Use a bit of initiative. If I show you what my figures, will you show me yours? <sighs> Bringing one cold front after another. I can't pretend that we never met. It won't work, Lee. I'm being chucked, aren't I? Storm clouds are brewing in Portugal. Take a break with the Sunburn team. Saturday at 8.55 on BBC One. You're out for a few drinks, and everyone's happy. It's exciting. It's very exciting. Suddenly, imperceptibly, it starts to turn ugly. It's alcohol. It turns nice kids into raving lunatics. But all too often, this is the reality on Saturday nights. <laughs> my heart was bursting out of my chest, and I thought I was going to have a heart attack and die. And this is the story of some of the people whose job it is to go and sort it. I am not a punch bag for the general public. I am there to protect them. Hard men on the sharp end. I'm a violent man, but I'm a violent man only with people that are violent to me. Muscle starts next Saturday at 10 on BBC One. Musical drama now on BBC One, and Liza Minnelli is going to need all her talents honed to perfection for this one. On with the tap shoes, because we're stepping out. <laughs> 